Hey guys, welcome to the Red Car Guys episode of the week number 5 of the Liga MX. So let's get started with our first game guys. And the first game was Querétaro versus Veracruz. So right here guys, you guys can see nice shot from him. And Forge finds out the rebound and scoring that first goal to make it a 1-0 for Veracruz. And Veracruz was actually winning. But then... Uh, there was a penalty. Tito Villa was going to take that penalty. Tito Villa, can he do it? Tito Villa scores that penalty, guys, to make it a 1-1. Uh, so they were tying the game, actually, 1-1. Uh, Querétaro 1, Veracruz 1. Then uh, I feel bad for Esqueda right here. Esqueda makes an, a, like an assist to the Querétaro player. And, like, and Querétaro actually wins the game. Uh, 2-1. Then Tijuana versus Cruz Azul. Right here, the center back Dominguez from Cruz Azul managed to pick up the header to put a Cruz Azul one up, guys. So uh, they started winning. Then um, Mor Moreno got this nice um, penalty and he ended up scoring that penalty. Not a problem from him. And the game did end in a 1-1. Uh, Tijuana won. Uh, Cruz Azul won, guys. So then, guys, we had Tigres versus Chiapas, where right here Romero gets this nice uh, through pass, and he's gonna and he's gonna get one on one with the goalkeeper, and Romero's not gonna miss this one right here, guys. And Romero, what a player he is, guys. He was actually rumored to go to Europe, but then, guys, Tigres right here gets a nice pass, uh, and Ludueña gets the pass back, and Ludueña does the first. Uh, goal for Tigres to make the score 1-1 one, one, guys and then guys uh, right here Jurgen Dam, that fastest uh, fastest left wing in Mexico gets a cross in no other they, they get a uh, nice cross but gets reflected but Pierre Andre Ginak he's my favorite player right now guys he's gonna score again I'm hoping for a team of the season car guys even upgrade I'll be happy because he's killing in the Liga MX um, and right now, guys, you guys going to see the third goal right here. Uh, Kino, once again, one of the best uh, wingers also in Mexico that's playing right now. Gets the pass. And the new player, oh, Tigres, right here scoring that 3-1, guys. So Tigres managed to pick up the win at 3-1 over Chiapas. Um, and then, guys, we have the America versus Santos right here. And Paul Aguilar, what a right back he is. I think Dedos Lopez and he are the best ones in the Liga MX currently, guys. And right here, Oribe Peralta scores. And, like, he's a top player. He's not going to celebrate on his old club because he's... I think he's really appreciates Santos while he became in Santos and stuff like that. So, yeah, he did not celebrate it, uh, the goal into Santos because that's where he used to play. Right here, Sambuesa uh, just goes open, takes out the defense, does a, a nice pass. And that's going to be a goal from Andrade. I believe it was Andrade who scored that goal. And once again, right here, you guys can see Sambuesa just taking over the... Uh, the the left back and uh, the right back actually and nothing they could do in this pass right here they kind of kill it uh, kill the team uh, the the Santos team right here so it was a uh, two zero over over Santos America over Santos so that was a very nice game uh, and then we want have the Puebla and Atlas Puebla was playing with the subs guys. And they managed to score right here one goal. So Puebla was playing with the subs because the first team wasn't playing because they had Copa Libertadores. And once again right here, Navarro scoring for Puebla. 2-0 Atlas was losing already, guys. And this was actually a game that uh, everybody think that Puebla was going to lose. Uh, and then right here, guys, uh, Kahneman with an own goal. I think that's very bad for him. I uh, can I imagine uh, how a center back would have feel if they did an on goal. So that on goal from Kahneman. And right here, another goal from Puebla. 4-0, guys. And it wasn't even half time yet. And Puebla was beating uh, Atlas 4-0. But then, guys, right here, Atlas didn't give up right here. They tried to open a, uh, open the, the area. And they the Puebla defense pretty good. But then the ball... Um, Bounces back and Medina from outside the box is scoring that goal to make it a 4-1. But still, uh, still 
Puebla then managed to pick up that three points and, and that three points are so good for them for the not, uh, not relegation table. And then we have the Monterrey Dorados and right here guys Cardona what a player what a player Cardona is guys and he just renewed contract with Monterrey uh, not long ago so he's just staying for Monterrey for a long time. Um, but what a player he is. And then right here guys uh, right here you can see this player does a nice pass back to them. And they centered the ball to the area. They tried to chip the goalkeeper and Funes Mori with the ball right there in front of him. And he managed to score that. The goalkeeper, I don't know why Luis Mitchell wasn't playing these games. Luis, Mich Luis Mitchell should be the main goalkeeper for Dorados. Uh, and then right here, Aldo De Nigris is scoring once again uh, for Monterrey to make it a 3-0, guys. So I think Dorados is basically going to second division. They're just not winning, and they need to at least make 19 points to keep to keep playing in the first division, not get relegated. And also, Morelia has been winning. The only good thing about the Chivas is not a trouble. Is Dorados is just not winning. When we are seeing the replay of Aldo De Nigris. And then, guys, we have the Leon versus Morelia. And right here, guys, another on go on this game. It was from the Sen Erpen center back on Morelia, guys. I think Morelia is going to get uh, a little, get a fine from Liga MS because they have Papa and Morelia. And they cannot have, um, they ha they cannot have uh, religion things under under shirts or related. They cannot be talking like that. It's a rule on Liga MX they have. When we saw that goal there, and then they uh, Morelia did went to attack again. Had another reflected gets to the Morelia player, and they end up scoring a two one. So Leon with a new coach, uh, Caspisi went to uh, Chile. So Morelia does manage to pick up, and then we had the Chivas versus Toluca right here. Red card. Uh, he almost he almost killed um, Pineda in my opinion. I think that was a, a, a red card right there. Look at that. Uh, uh, hopefully he, he didn't get injured. He came back. So that's good. Uh, Pineda, Pineda got back into the game. But when we see the, the foul right here, red card. But then Chivas with one player more. And they still kind of held them. Uh, did a header on them in the area. And that was Silva scoring that goal for, for Toluca, guys. And then, guys, right here. Uh, Chivas going to attack, and I think uh, Aaron, the center back of of, of Toluca, was was still thinking that he played for Chivas because he used to be used to play for Chivas. So they said, "Let me score that goal for them." Um, and they actually managed uh, to get a non goal, and Chivas tied the game one one. So it was a pretty good uh, goal from Aaron, I guess, former Chivas player, uh, now playing for Toluca. Uh, and that was a 1-1 one, one draw guys and that was the uh, and now guys we're gonna go to the last game that was on Sunday only one game was Pumas versus Pachuca guys right here Pumas gets a free kick do Ludueña hit put stand the bar and then Britos gets uh, that right rebound and scores the 1-0 guys but almost at the last minute Gutierrez with the free kick and he's gonna look for no other the Omar Gonzalez the, the guy from used to play for LA Galaxy scores that goal he's a pretty tall player and I think I'm, I I might we might even see a name for him guys because that was uh, they pretty he pretty much saved them from losing and they haven't lost on the tournament they're like they're having lost so Omar Gonzalez right there guys. So this was the results of the week four guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Adios.